Oh man, I'm all set. I'm going to go do a thing. So um, new to me, not new to many, many of you, but new to me, I'm going to go do a uh, distance carbine class. Now, that's a little out of my wheelhouse. I don't really do the distance classes. I don't do the slow fire stuff. And I don't like the idea of having to do math um, when I'm trying to do shooting. So it's not something that I'm really into or that really has appealed to me. But just to be better, be a more well-rounded shooter, I thought it would be nice to go do a distance class. So uh, what we have here is this rifle that, um, well, to be honest, Joel really put it together. And it's just meant to be like a basic deal, not like a accurized, like super baller rifle, just like something decent that I can sort of get started with and maybe shoot like, you know, maybe sub MOA, like that would be good. And then I can kind of plink around with it and see what I wanted to do. So anyway, this is the uh, second generation one to six uh, Vortex. I've got the bubble level to let dudes know I'm serious, that kind of stuff. Um, it's, a, it's a really nice scope, of course. Um, but to me, it's like the one that I would actually train with. So like, for example, Vortex sent a one to 10 to me as well, but I decided like, Hey, I'm going to shoot this one, the one to six, um, just because that's like the one that I would actually use. The one to 10 is not super forgiving on the, uh, on the I box. Um, the, uh, the nerds, the reticle nerds around me decided, Hey, you should learn on the MRAD reticles which whatever that is, I guess that sounds fine to me. Um, so yeah, I mean, the, the scope is kind of the heart of this thing, but it's a scope that should be okay shooting at distance. It would be like, okay, being a one to six. But really, like I said, I might actually use it. Um, yeah, there, there's really nothing else remarkable about this rifle. It's just the, I think the Cold Hammer Forge Barrel from BCM, uh, 16 inches with a three prong, so it can take a can. And then the quick detach Atlas bipod in case I need that. That's pretty much it. Now, I didn't really know much about ammo. I don't really know much about ammo. I still don't. So I got some of the PMC 77 grain match stuff. Uh, I grouped it out of the rifle. It does pattern nice and tight. Um, so that is good. There's some concerns with the velocity on the box. It says 2420 feet per second, which a lot of people have pointed out on the internet is slow. PMC stuff tends to run slow. Um, like the other PMC stuff I have tends to run slow. So I don't know that I would buy this again, but just as an off the shelf, just grab it and shoot it. Like it groups okay. Like I can go play around with it. I think it'll be fine. So at the end of March in Reno, I'm gonna be doing a distance course. I'm gonna be using this rifle. I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be really like something different, something kind of fun for me. I don't think I'm going to be like a long range nerd. Uh, well, not after the class or not really any time in the future, but it's still, it'll be good for me to go do it and kind of go through the, the theory and like some basic techniques and that kind of stuff and see what I can learn from it. I think it'll be really, really nice. So anyway, there we go.